Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be opening a text file in MATLAB and plotting its content on a figure. First, let's see the file that we are going to use. The text file that we will be using is obtained from the Royal Observatory of Belgium and it includes the yearly average sunspot number starting from 1700 ending at 2020. As you can see, the file consists of four columns which include the year, average sunspot number, standard deviation and number of observations respectively. The dot 5 in the first column can be omitted, it's for indicating the mid of the year during the plot. If there is a missing observation for a certain year, we can see a minus 1 value for that specific slot. Now let's see the MATLAB code that we need to use. In the first step, we open the text file with the fopen command. We give the file name and the RT parameters, which stands for read and text respectively. Then we use the text scan function to open the FID file handler and specify its format in the parameters. Here we have 4% sign and F, which indicates that the file contains four columns of floating point numbers. As soon as we obtain the cell array C, we can close the file handler with the fclose command. In the second step, we'll convert the cell array C to the YR year matrix, which will give us a better view for the content of the file in MATLAB. In the third and the last step, we'll plot the yearly sunspot number in the second column with respect to the year with the plot command. Now let's run our code in MATLAB. Okay, now that we've written the code in MATLAB, we can run it. First, let's see our workspace very quickly. We have our C cell array, which contains four cells, each of which containing 321 rows. First one is the year. The second one is the sunspot numbers. Third one is the standard deviation. You can see that for some certain period of time, there is no value. And the last one is the number of observations in the year. And we have our year matrix, which includes all this information in a single place. And our figure is showing the yearly average sunspot numbers starting from 1700 and again 2020. We can maximize and see it better. So in this video, we have seen how to read data from a text file and plot it with the plot command. I hope the video has been useful for you. If you liked the video, please click on like and consider subscribing to the channel for further videos. Thank you. Bye.